Yeah, share with us what you're doing to help protect our one ocean on social media with the hashtag WSL1Ocean, tagging WSL and WSL1Ocean in your post. New heat out in the water. Ryan Kalman against Liam O'Brien. Uh, let's start with Liam O'Brien, Peter. Well, uh, kept himself deep on the point and ends up getting the first wave. Beautiful glide off this first section. See the bump there? That's with that lower tide. The rocks will show itself right through the bottom turn there. He's able to get through it, no worries. And look at the turns he's doing here. And this is why we love Liam O'Brien on the right-hand point breaks. Just such, so much flow. Matches speed with the wave. Gets acceleration out of his moves. This point, it kind of slows up here, but he's chasing it down the line, and I believe he'll get the finish. He does get a section there, tags it smooth as silk from Liam O'Brien. Watch this. Slow motion. Nice gaff there by Liam O'Brien. Watch the bottom. Low tide situation. Right there. Has to deal with the rock. Shallow spot. No worries. Didn't affect him at all. Straight into his neck to carve. And again, nice mix. Different style. Knock need. And, uh, Liam gets himself a good number. 6.83 opener for the Burley Head Local. And, you know, cobblestone points, rock bottom points. Liam O'Brien feeling right at home at Punta Roca. Look how he goes straight into the bottom turn as he drives through. Those are talking about combination of major moves. There was four turns, rail to rail. Yeah, and again, it's this lower tide. You're going to get these waves that don't have a lot of juice in them. They don't have a lot of energy, and that was kind of this wave. It, it was moving out to sea. It wasn't bending back at the point, which gives you the extra power. Surf City, El Salvador Pro, presented by Corona. Liam O'Brien opened up with a 6.83. Here he is again, wave number two for Liam O'Brien. Connecting the dots, connecting the sections here at Punta Roca. Some smooth surfing and some fin throwing top turns coming down the line. Floats that section there, making up some space. Looking down the line, one more snap for the finish. Liam O'Brien is going to back up his 6.83 and extend his lead over Ryan Kalman. And that's super unique to Liam. He's able to come out of all of his moves uh, with speed, especially that kind of a snapping floater in really in his way. A lot of surfers will jump up there for a second and unweight, but he actually presses off the lip and gains extra speed down the line. That was a beautiful drift of the fins. Again, carrying the speed all the way over and, and gaining speed as he's moving down the line with the maneuver involved. Again, gets the finish here with a little drift of the fins. Uh, another solid number coming for Liam O'Brien. So he's put Ryan Kellen in, in a tough situation. We talk a lot about surfboards, Peter. This is a Darren handling design underneath his feet. And he's had a long relationship with Darren developing his equipment. And that just looks like the confidence when you know your equipment that you're able to surf solid. And the thing fashion. is that they're both from the Gold Coast, right? So he has the factory right there, you know, just down the road. So he's able to get there and get uh, his... You know, every element of his surfboard design, whether it be the glassing and where those edges are, the sander's job to get where that edge is on the, you know, the release of the water and the tail, that, that's an important part of a surfboard. Also keeping it strong so they last a little bit. It's not huge numbers that came out. I mean, the 577 from Liam isn't a gigantic uh, match that he needs to get to, and uh, he's going to give himself the opportunity right now. Here we go. Count that on the backhand. Opening snap. Looks down the line. Has to skip over that section. Wants a little bit more, building up some speed. Has to settle for a carve there. A little quicker snap on the backhand. Throws the reverse attempt. It goes incomplete. You could see kind of from the start of that wave that that was a little bit of a forced effort. Brian is that above the lip style of surfing and uh, that tail free style surfing, uh, especially with aerials. You know, you see he's almost eyeing it right here. He's like, okay, I'm building some speed. Where's the lip at? Where's the lip at? And it wasn't there. So you had to do the carve and then the finish snap, but he did well to adjust in that moment to get the finish, but the finish, you know, unfortunately they're pushing a little bit. Here we go. Liam O'Brien utilizing priority. And gets a little flary there, throwing the fins, a little fakey riding before reverting out of that thing. It goes for the nose pick reverse, and it does not pull that off. That will not change the scoring situation now. Ryan Calman with priority, but he has a high mountain to climb. 9.43, the need for Ryan, the Nova Castrian, Ryan Count. What he can do on this tour is going above the lip and doing that style of surfing. That's how he's going to keep getting better. And uh, this turn here showcases that. Look at that. Nice air, compressed, gets that back foot right back onto the pad. 
You see he rotates around all the weight into that front foot, which makes it rotate around super easy. And still, the footwork, I mentioned it. You what know. about this, Pete? Do you call this a club sandwich or a nose pick reverse? Uh, I like nose pick reverse. That kind of gives it a little bit more of exactly what it is. A roast, you know, roast, what did you call it? Roast club, beef? Club, club sandwich. sandwich. <laughs> yeah, you got to surprise these judges. They're going to watch your surfing. And as soon as you've been on tour for a long time, it's way harder mm. to get scores out of the surfers because you, na our natural instinct is that you start kind of, um, you know, surfing against yourself in a way or scoring against yourself. Wide one comes through for Liam O'Brien under priority right here down the point. O'Brien gets going down the line, throws the tail right there. He's going to lose a lot of that forward momentum to complete that wave. Big air for Ryan Callahan. That's what he's known for. That's the patented move, that big air rotation, but was not able to put it back underneath his feet. He oftentimes goes, you know, just corked off axis. And one more chance for our Cal. Let's see what he's got. Projection snap there. One more time, Vert comes off the bottom. Carve through here. Remember, he needs near perfect on this wave. I don't know if he's got the score in it. There he's it is. Work hard for the finish, struggles for the finish. That's going to be the end of Brian Callan in this competition. It's true. You know, and he was sitting in a position that, that, you know, he gets a big result. He starts thinking about the final five. I mean, at this point, that's what all these surfers dream is. Just get me to the final five. Yeah, he's number eight coming into here. But it's going to be the story for the Burley boy, Liam O'Brien, on to the round of 16. We'll take a commercial break.